What up, what up, y'all? What's going on? Good morning. Happy to Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And uh, so, just came across this trailer that I felt that was kind of important. At least, you know, dear to me. and something that I want to see um, of a movie called Beautiful Boy. So let's take a look at the trailer. And we're going to talk about it afterwards. Y'all yeah, know how the format go, man. Y'all know how it go? Y'all know, know how these trailer reactions go, man? If I can just get it to play. Alright. Oh, wow. Okay, so how you doing? I'm doing great. great, you know, just, um... Um... Just doing what needs to be done. And, what does oh, that mean? I'm sorry, Dad, um... Why don't we just have lunch and talk? We can do that, right? Mm. Please. You think that you have this under control. I understand why I do things. It doesn't make me any different. You're just embarrassed because I was like, you know, I was like this amazing thing, like your special creation or something, and you don't like who I am now. Yeah, who are you, Nick? This is me, Dad, here, this is who I am. This who is not you? you. This is not you, Nick. What are you doing, huh? You always gotta be controlling everything all the time. Let me, let me book your room no, at a hotel for no, a couple of nights. Dad. I don't want it to go like this. That's like a deep conversation. My son has gone missing. Nicholas Sheff, S-H-E-F-F. -F. There's no one by that name, sir. There are moments that I look at him, this kid that I raised, who I thought I knew inside and out, and I wonder who he is. I thought we were close. I thought we were closer than most fathers we, and sons. Yeah. Why? I felt better than I ever had, so I just kept on doing it. This oh, isn't God. us. This is not who we just are. Kidding. My son is out there somewhere, and I don't know what he's doing. I don't know how to help him. You can't. I don't feel like I have a disease. This isn't like cancer. This is my choice. I put myself here. I failed. I can't do it alone. I need to find a way to fill this black hole in me. I still have a family. I want them to be proud of me. What you have, you're gonna find it again. You're gonna get it back. Do you know how much I love you? I love you more than everything. 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 Not me. Everything. I don't know, I thought that that preview was pretty uh, important or dear to me. There's not a lot of, uh, I guess, father-son movies out there. There's not even a lot of, like, praise with fathers. You know, fathers are either usually, you know, dead... Dead beats in jail, um, not you know, just not even in the picture, you know. So to have a, a movie that has a father son dynamic, I thought was uh, pretty dope, and to me, probably pretty important. There's some things in there that uh, resonate with me because I am a uh, single parent raising you know my son. And he's only four, and I am proud of him. And, you know, they, they mentioned in the trailer, you know, you were, I was a special uh, creation. And I'm like, yeah. You know, my son is a special creation that I really want to come out, you know, you know, doing the best, being the best person, best citizen, you know, that he can be. Absolutely. Um, so I kind of uh, resonate with that. Uh, there are some things that uh, I feel like <clears throat> a lot of parents miss. Uh... And I've mentioned it on this channel. I'm a religious man. I'm a Christian. You know, so uh, there's a lot of things that I feel like the society misses out on by, you know, not believing in anything, uh, by um, believing in only science. Um, don't take time out to uh, connect or empathize with other people. Uh, you don't. And as a father, you know, you don't, you know, correct your son. You kind of let him do his own thing. They were listening to some rock and roll music. And the thing about rock and roll, if you like rock and roll, hey, do your thing. 
but it is a chaotic music. It's a, a discordian music. You know, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of anger, a lot of hate. And it could seem like, you know, it is something that is cool, you know, to be about or be around or put into your spirit. But honestly, uh, it has a lot of people confused, has a lot of people angry, uh, especially young people. When you're young, there's nothing to be angry about. You, you, there's nothing to be angry about. You got food and board <clears throat> paid for, free. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you might do some chores, you know, but for the most part, you live free. You go to school, which is free. And, you know, if you don't do well, you get a lower grade, upgrade, but you pretty much go through school. You ain't gonna get fired. And now you don't get fired from school, and then now you can't provide for yourself. You know, so life is just easier when you're a kid. I know you don't think so, but that's what the parents... Uh, position is for to reinforce how you know this is nothing whatever you're going through in high school this is nothing There's no need to shoot up kids no need to be a bully no need to be depressed who cares about what's going on online you know what I'm saying like all these online bullies that's that's garbage you know it's the parents job to um, you know affirmate or give affirmations to their kids so they can understand that whatever's going on in their world ain't really that important you know um, you know, the, the kid had, you know, he was, had like some demonic drawings and stuff like that. It's really important to, to, for, at least to me, if you don't, hey, if you don't believe, you know, to each his own. But it's important to, to me, be in the scriptures. It's important to have some structure, you know, to know how society is ran, how to, how to interact with people, how to... Um, you know, I guess appreciate yourself, how to treat people the way you want to be treated. You know, it's a lot of instruction in the Bible that a lot of us just omit. And we think that, um, society is just supposed to just be a certain way without any instructions. How? How is everyone in the culture supposed to be a particular way as far as like kind friendly, compassionate, if no one's reading the instructions. You know, I mean, that's just my thing. Like, you can say, oh, you just feel it. No, you don't just feel it. You know, back in the day, they used to think that being a pedophile was okay. That's, it. do we feel that way today? No, because we had instructions that says that we should not. So, now if you don't believe, hey, do your thing. If you want to... You know, you should believe in something. If you don't believe in Christianity, you should believe in something. Because this world will eat you alive. And you can see from that kid. That kid is being eaten on. And he ain't even really been through nothing. He just having his, his first time experience for the first time. You know, he said he experienced something and liked it and wanted to keep doing it. That goes to something else I was thinking about. But <laughs> that's how people grow up. You don't grow up a certain way. You grow up, you experience something, you either like it or you don't like it. If you do like it, you keep going forward. If you don't, you don't do that. That's how that's how people that's that's the human experience. You know, so you have to monitor what your children are watching. You have to monitor what your children are listening to or at least if they are going to do something, you give them the perspective to where they're not being indoctrinated into you know, becoming some zombie or, you know, some depressed kid or this violent kid, you know, um, or a sheep, you know, uh, being a sheep to me is the worst thing you could be, you know, so you want to be able to give them this grid that they can see the world at so that they can just, if they're watching something that might be a little demonic or they're watching something that might be a little negative, they can... Uh, discern what is an agenda, what is false, what is right, what is wrong, and just appreciate the content for what it is, just a story. It's not something I should gravitate to. It's not something that I should be like. This is just a story. And I feel like in, even in the black community, that's how we get caught up in this, this hip-hop. We think that that's how we should live our life. We should be a gangbanger. We should be a, a thug. We should be, you know, disrespecting women. No, it's just a story that some people decided to live by, not you. But anyway, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I'm out, baby. <laughs> Peace.